Hola, wingnuts. So, we had talked about John going bungee jumping this past week. But it didn't quite play out the way we had planned. Because we got there and even though he had emailed and asked ahead of time if we could use our cameras, they wouldn't allow him to use his GoPro upon arrival. We decided to not do it because they didn't offer the opportunity for us to pay extra to use his GoPro and they said that they would sell us footage but they didn't say for how much so we chose instead to spend the money to get on a catamaran and go across to Isla Mujeres which was a lot of fun uh, we did get sunburned pretty bad and for the last couple of days we've been recovering from the long day because we got on the catamaran at noon and didn't get back until 7 p.m. and then Taxis in this area, here's a hint. If you have to take the taxi somewhere and not an Uber, because if you're at a tourist attraction, you can't call an Uber. If you're at a main place, you can't call an Uber because the taxi drivers have literally physically attacked Uber drivers to try and keep them out of those areas. So, if you have to call a taxi, it's going to be a little more than an Uber. Hopefully not a lot more, but if you're in a tourist area or you're in an area like the airport where it is 100% taxi only and they know you need them, you're going to pay a lot more. So when we got off the catamaran, the taxi told us that it was going to be 500 pesos, which is double what we had paid and we had used a taxi double what we had paid going to it because now we're calling or we're take, getting a taxi from the tourist area and they know that they've got you so we said I don't think so he asked how much we'd be willing to pay we said we paid 250 on the way there and he said bye and we were like okay and we started walking so we walked a long way because I wanted to find a little store or something with a good parking area and I wanted to be out of the hotel zone before we called an Uber and that's what we were doing. So we walked a couple of miles probably, a mile and a half, which is, is hard for me, before we got to a store and were able to sit down and wait for an Uber. So it's taken us a couple of days to recover from that, but that's okay. He has since emailed, and he may uh, get on and do some talking about this on his own as well, but he has since emailed the bungee place. And mind you, this is the only bungee place in the area. He emailed them and asked them about being able to use his cameras, and they sent an email back and said, oh yes, absolutely, you can use your cameras. We also have footage available for you to buy. And he emailed back and told them what had happened. And they, after a few hours, emailed back and said, we've just spoken with our folks at on-site about the incident. And they say the new policy is they don't allow it at all. Well, okay. So know that if you go, you won't be able to use your own camera if that's something you wanted to do. Uh, you can have someone down bottom video from the dock, but you can't use your own on, on person camera so because they want to sell you the footage a lot of things in Cancun are targeted toward tourists a lot of things in the Yucatan Peninsula I think are targeted toward tourists I don't know if it's like that all over Mexico or if it's just this area we won't know that for a few years until we've come back and visited some other areas of Mexico. All that being said, I would 100% recommend getting on a catamaran at least once and doing the whole catamaran adventure over to La Isla Mujeres because it was fun. 
the negatives about it were that uh, we didn't get our own time. We had an hour free time on the island, and the rest of the time was all scheduled stuff or on the boat. So we weren't really able to do our own exploring, and I want to do that because there is a Mayan ruins on the southern tip of the island that I want to go see. So at some point we will take a ferry back over, which costs, I think it was $30 each for round trip tickets for us to be able to go over and, and do our own exploring. I think at some point we will do that so that I can go see the Mayan ruins over there. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do that. I don't know. I still enjoy Playa del Carmen and Cozumel much, much more. And while uh, Isla Mujeres is very beautiful and it was fun and the water is gorgeous, the beach was overcrowded. There were a lot of people. Yeah, that was just one beach. I'm sure there are other beaches, but the beach that we were ended up at was overcrowded. It was very small. We did meet a lot of really interesting people. So at the beach, we were able to meet a family with a little three-year-old boy named Damien who was throwing sand at his dad, and that was a lot of fun. Um, and on the boat, we met people from Germany. We met people from Miami. We met uh, somebody who does MMA fighting. He's becoming a professional MMA fighter. Actually, he was down here for an event that got canceled, so they were doing a little bit of sightseeing before he left. Um, we met some folks from Georgia, which was nice because we had stayed in Georgia at one point for a while, uh, and they were very sweet young folks. And met two different families from an area in Mexico over near Mexico City that I cannot think of the name of right now, but it right right next to Mexico City. So lots of fun and interesting people. All in all, it was a really fun day. And I really, I think most of that for me is meeting really cool people. And actually, John really enjoyed that too. Of course, he also enjoyed the snorkeling and now wants to be in the water even more all the time. It's funny because we only spent not even a whole day on the boat with them. And, it's, and it felt to me kind of like leaving summer camp where you remember everybody fondly after spending that time with them. And we were all joking together by the end of the day. This weekend is Christmas. And we want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Uh, if you celebrated Yule, a Happy Yule. If you celebrated something else, I hope you enjoyed that as well. We know there's lots of holidays during this season. And we will see you again next week.